This is Steve Stonning, and Steve did a project with Auto Vital a couple of years ago that he's going to tell us about. Steve. Uh, yeah, David Kane and I from uh, Kane Automotive, we put together a study back in 2010 and 2011. We released it in 2011. It was an automotive uh, study looking at uh, successful internet stores and how those same stores compare to unsuccessful stores. And really, why are some stores successful with Auto Vital leads or really any third party lead? And then there are other stores that are unsuccessful with those or even maybe their website leads. And uh, really what our study uncovered was that there was no correlation with lead mix to a store's internet sales success. It really came down to leadership and a lot of other factors within the store. What are some of the things that would affect the results of a store being successful? Uh, well, the number one factor was the quality of lead response. And so a store that has a high quality response sold their third party leads at sometimes three or four times higher than an average store. And uh, because they gave those leads the uh, attention that they deserved. They had the right staffing levels, they, uh, they had a good process in place, and they had a very high quality response. And when you say mix, what is the mix from? Well, the, what we found is that, that uh, successful dealers had any type of lead mix. Some did uh, third-party leads, some did not. Some did eBay, some did not. Some did Craigslist, some did not. What we found is that it didn't matter who the lead source was. Successful dealers could be successful with any lead source. And so their whole goal was, when I can staff up, I need to add more leads. And I don't care where they come from because I know I'm going to be successful with them. And they were. All right. So if the process is in place, a dealership is going to be successful. Absolutely. And, and that's key because it's uh, it comes down to process, um, but it's more than that. There are stores, every store that's watching this today, they think that they have a process. But if they don't have that process in a book, if that process isn't uh, adhered to strictly by everyone in the dealership, and this is this was the key, if the middle managers, the desk managers, the F&I managers, used car, news car, new car managers, if those managers aren't deeply involved in the process, if they can't inspect that process and hold people accountable, the store isn't going to be successful over the long term. Uh, we all know stores that have a great uh, internet sales manager, and and they you know they close it all of their leads at 15, 20 percent. They're successful for a period of time, and then the Mack truck theory comes into play and that is what happens if your internet manager gets hit by a Mack truck and that internet manager leaves because people leave in this business and guess what with that internet manager goes the process and so the store goes from being great to bad overnight and, and that's why it takes every manager in the store that's that's really interesting well it sounds like a great study and thanks for talking to us about it it's my pleasure thank you